Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another video. Hope you guys are having a smashing day today. We're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite guns, a gun that I've racked up maybe close to 10,000 kills on, but I haven't used in a very long time because it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just been in retirement, but it's still available and good to use if you have one in your vault. Before we get into it though, a quick reminder from me to you to hit that like button. It really, really helps the channel out. And if you enjoy my content and you haven't subscribed yet, then consider subscribing. We're on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Join us on this little journey. Speaking of journeys, if you've been on this journey with me for a long time, you'll recognize this weapon. It's the Annoying Hunger. I used to use this auto rifle going way back, talking like 2018, 2019 years ago. But as you can see, it's not a sunset weapon. It's at max light level. If you have one, it's available to use in any activity. We've got a Zen Moment kill clip roll here. It's absolutely disgusting. Let's get into that gameplay and see exactly what it can do. Here we go, my friends. It has been a hot minute since I used this gun, but when you used the gun so much in the past, it immediately feels oh so familiar. Annoying hunger. Obviously, this is a slightly different role to my old role. My main role that I used to use back in the day, I think it has around 8,000, 9,000 kills on it. It's a lot of kills. It had tap the trigger and kill clip. And uh, this one has a Zen moment and kill clip. I don't even know when I got this weapon. I just know that it's a non-sunset annoying hunger. So I thought I would pull it out. I guess the first thing to get out of the way is how do you get this weapon? I believe that Zer is the only way to get this gun right now. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Void Energy Auto Rifle, 600 RPM. 600 RPM ARs are not really blowing me away at the moment, but this one really does feel insane. I do play on controller. And so Zen Moment is very, very good for controller. I believe for mouse and keyboard players, you don't really want to go after Zen Moment. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that that's the case because what it does is it effectively reduces the recoil as you land shots. And that is a perk that would make more sense with fast firing weapons. Speaking of making sense, I think that Titan's GPS system was broken. So basically with a fast firing gun that you're going to be landing a lot of shots with, like an auto rifle, Zen Moment on controller is an absolutely amazing perk. Speaking of amazing, I found myself up on this perch. <laughs> and well, you know what comes next. This is some villainous stuff right here, lads. Yo, what's going on, mate? He's escaping the spiders, but little does he know the big spiders up in his web just ready for them. They don't know what's going on. I'm back flipping. This guy sees the ping on his radar, but he doesn't have a Scooby-Doo. I'm sorry, guys. Listen, I don't even know how I ended up here. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even know this was a thing. I just... This just fold up. Oh, I'm not having this. I'm what, not having what, this. What, no, 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 no. I'm just here, I guess, and now we're not. That was a funny little moment. But anyway, going back to the gun, Zen Moment is just fantastic on auto rifles. It basically gives the gun no recoil. So even if you don't have 100 recoil direction on your stat, if you have Zen Moment, you are big chilling. Land your shots and you will see exactly what I mean. This gun does feel like borderline aimbot. Once I hit those first couple of shots, that reticle is just not moving at all. And what that allows you to do is really play into the other aspects of winning a gunfight, aside from just being accurate, right? So you can concentrate on your movement, your positioning, and all of that sort of stuff. Sweet, sweet AE fix, by the way. Just able to shoddy that guy. I love that. So yeah, it's just a fantastic weapon. Then when you take in the fact that we've got kill clip as well, then you have what is a... He, he spun around so fast and then he got dizzy. I'm down here, mate. I'm down here. It's too late, though. He's already dead. It's too late. So, yeah, when you get kill clip going, the time to kill becomes very, very disgusting. The normal TTK for 600 RPM ARs is around the same as a 140 hand cannon. So it's nothing mind blowing, but you've got plenty of range. You've got a lot of ease of use. And uh, we'll just quickly step back in here because, oh, yes, of course. What are you going to do, eh? What are you going to do? But yeah, when you get Kill Clip going, it just becomes absolutely disgusting. And this gun feels silky smooth to shoot. There's no recoil. The damage is good. The perks are fantastic. It sounds sensational, which is always important for a good gun, in my opinion. And the sight is one of the best sights in the game. It's got 16 zoom, so it has plenty of range to go. You know, it's not like it's going to be struggling. 16 zoom is just fine for a 600 RPM AR. And the, the sight, the recoil, the damage, the look, it's got it all, my friends. Knowing Hunger is real good. Now, if you're wondering why I decided to use this weapon, one of the reasons was they, Bungie said that they lowered the range on high range SMGs a little bit, right? So I thought to myself, 
if that's the case maybe you know there's a place for ars to exist if the high range smgs don't have as much range now because i think that's the only thing really holding you know this weapon type back is just the existence of smgs personally i can't speak for anyone else but i am bored to tears of the smgs now in pvp especially in rumble when i see someone using peacekeepers and ikolos smg or taraba irrelevant boring old yesterday's news my eyes are rolling into the back of my head at this point because it's just it's so played out and so much better than everything else he was definitely using a close smg uh i'm basically i'm starting the auto rifle revolution you know what i'm talking about look at this thing it is disgusting if you have annoying hunger in your vault it's time to take a look at it to be fair even if you don't have a non-sunset annoying hunger you can use it in every single pvp activity apart from trials of osiris and to be fair trials of osiris is eternity again for some unknown reason and going into eternity trials of osiris with an auto rifle i mean even i'd think twice about doing that so really if you have annoying hunger you've got nothing to worry about if you don't have annoying hunger then what you need to do look at that he, he regretted that decision real quick what you need to do is subscribe to this channel and i will help you get annoying hunger bang hit the subscribe button like i hit that guy in the head why because basically zer might come up with one of these at some point he might roll up my boy zer with annoying hunger and uh, i'll be the guy to give you the inside scoop so if you don't want to miss out on that inside scoop then make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications and if you're enjoying the video and you haven't already hit that like button hit the like button for me i'm washed i had to double body that guy i mean come on now come on my chaperone skills they've evaporated because i haven't been using it as much in the past year or so and we haven't been using annoying hunger but it hasn't been stopping us from shredding just look at the shreddery it is absolutely disgusting We've got a little funny moment coming up here to close out this video. So I hope you guys are ready for some banter because it's coming. It's coming. First, we're just going to secure this heavy ammo. And uh, that's a red herring because actually the clip isn't to do with heavy ammo. No. Basically, what happened is we had a hostage situation over here. Pop bubble and uh, I had to talk this guy down. He was going to kill my blueberry. You know, he, he, he had the launch codes. Blueberry was going to go. So uh, I had to teach him a lesson. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And uh, what we did is we convinced him to come into the bubble. There you go. That's it. Convinced him. Make it. Make him think everything's cool. You know, nothing to see here. Everything's cool. Just put the guns down, and nobody needs to get hurt apart from you.